I mean, the game was game four. <laughs> the thriller <laughs> was yes. uh, was on Wednesday. So we definitely talked about it yesterday. So, you know, I gave my reaction. I was excited. But I'm just curious to know from you, because I don't know if you were actually rooting for anyone. I'm not sure. But <laughs> just want to know your overall thoughts on the finals and the outcome. Well, first, Natalie, you know I can't be rooting for anyone. My journalism students watch me on here, and I try to remain objective <laughs> when I'm covering these games. But, you know, I'm a fan of women's sports, obviously a fan of, of, honestly, both these teams. You know, I grew up watching the WNBA, and to see the two teams that many of us picked to be in the WNBA finals. And as you said, Nat, it was a thriller, a one-point game at the end. You know, we were watching Candy Vandersloot, Courtney Vandersloot. We were watching that shot, Nat, seeing if it would make it. But, of course, it didn't go all the way. But, Rest you know, still. I think Asia Wilson touched on <laughs> Asia Wilson touched on so much greatness. Like she said, whether you were booing them, whether you had something to say about them, Folks were watching and, you know, you look at Barclays Center and what they were able to do, the highest attended game folks in WNBA history in season 27 of the WNBA net. I thought that was just a beautiful thing to see. We also have to say this has to be the most fun team to watch. Like they gave us so many quotes after the game, whether Absolutely. it was the night night, our popping champagne bottles and crying together. Like this team has been through so much. Kelsey Plum, I love what she put, you know, arrested, sued, but champions like this is a team I think that you honestly have to root for. You know, Asia Wilson, I think many of us still questioning uh, how in the world this woman who got WNBA Finals MVP finished in fourth place, folks, not even top three. I mean, it's exactly. ridiculous. But all in all, like, she's getting her due. I mean, she not... To, I mean, she's, she's setting records, 200 points uh, now, twice in a year in the postseason uh, for this team. 100-plus rebounds, first WNBA yeah, player first to do player, that. Like, yep. <laughs> I mean, what can you not – I always tweet Asia Wilson is her. I mean, what's understood doesn't need to be explained. And I feel like that's what we're seeing with Asia Wilson's greatness. And now that we're talking about a potential 3 P, you're looking at this team that's able to bring back – most of their core players. I mean, it's kind of scary if I'm the rest of the WNBA because I feel like everybody has been put on notice to this team's greatness, a team that was the best defensive team, you know, throughout the season, a team that only you didn't see too many weaknesses, a team that went in hobbling to this game four and that we were all yeah. talking about the loss. It's incredible. And those shows. I mean, we saw bench players be able to step up and make a difference in this. So all in all, I think it was just fun to watch and uh, I'm excited to see this team run it back. I know the championship parade is about to be wild and crazy. Nat, we might need to go down there for that one because I feel like it's going to be one for the history books. But just all in all, just proud of this team living up to expectations and going beyond. Yeah, for sure. I, you know, you talked about it, the 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 most attended game, you know, it's all season. Over 17,000. Yes, they yeah. were like all season they've been doing this. So yeah, my all season long on the W... <laughs> yeah, all season long, the WNBA has been breaking records. That was, you know, at Barclays. They had another sold out game, yeah. game four. In terms of viewership, it's the most viewed WNBA finals um, in um it's the most viewed game four, I'm sorry, excuse me, ever. Wow. It is the the highest viewed in 20 years. Um, it peaked game four um, at 1.3 million. Yeah. It is the most watched postseason in 16 Amazing. years. Postseason. I mean, it is, it is incredible. <laughs> and I love it because it's a trend across the board in women's sports, right? Women's sports yeah. are breaking records everywhere and so i still laugh at these people who come in the comments kelsey and they say always oh <laughs> no one cares about this who cares <clears throat> they were going in on salute because she airballed um as though men don't airball things all the time you know mm. it's like mm. i'm just laughing because i'm like you see the whole arena filled people screaming it's at capacity yeah. something sometimes the um brooklyn nets don't even do in that arena you're gonna Facts. sit up here and, you're gonna sit up here and try to like say no one cares about them it's 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 ludicrous so so happy to see uh see all yeah. of those numbers and you know I'm also happy to see it feels like it feels like Asia properly starting to get her proper shine but you know what we Finally. need we need the we shoe. need her signature shoe we need we the need signature the shoe. Shoe. <laughs> Yeah, it's only right. Now. I mean, it's only right. And Nike, it's Nike perfect. had the audacity to be tweeting after the finals, your little campaign. <laughs> Not say little, because we know Nike's great, but the <laughs> the MV period and the. 
the, the, the Las Vegas stuff, you know, like what stays in Vegas yeah. or well, I don't remember the slogan, but they were tweeting. Yeah, there you go. What's won in Vegas stays in Vegas. <laughs> cute, cute. I love it, Vegas, but I love it, um, Nike, but I don't care about this. I care about her getting her signature shoe, Kelsey. I thought it was, like you said, it's like, come on. And I love that LeBron James, King James came to the aid and said, hey, we got to get this girl a shoe. We know on the New York Liberty side of the basketball net that multiple players have shoes. And I'm going to say well-deserved to them, but Asia Wilson has really become the face of the WNBA. She's changing the game in a positive way. You talked about growing the game, and I feel like she's a large reason why. And she said it. She said, I'll wear my LeBrons until the heels fall off. But, uh, she, you know, she's very humble about it that talking about getting her own shoe, but what more does she need to prove that? I mean, this woman at a young age, I don't think you'll folks realize that 27 getting it done and just think about the more greatness we're going to get from her and all the young girls that she's inspiring. So I think she's long overdue, honestly, for what, I mean, what she did in, in college and now pro. So I'm just excited for her, but uh, Nike or come on. It's time. On it's time. time. Get Asian Wilson <laughs> on the clock. Hey, thank you for watching brother from another. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, go ahead and do that now. Don't forget, you can catch us three to four weekdays on PeacockTV.com and on Sirius XM Channel 85.